Hello everybody, so today we're painting Mondrian and the colours we have are the red, yellow and blue. They're the primary colours we are using and that's exactly what he used and also black. Now Mondrian often painted in straight lines and as you can see I've started my piece of artwork by breaking that rule. I've got a heart that has curved lines. You can start with a central feature, anything you like, maybe something that people would know that was your artwork. So if you're into ball games you could do a circle or flowers you could draw a flower or a handprint whatever you like so I've just done that with my pencil now Mondrian, Mondrian always uses vertical lines or horizontal lines you could do that too if you want to obey that rule or you could be like me and break it using straight lines but using them diagonally all right so around my artwork I am just taking my pencil and drawing in some straight lines using my ruler but they are diagonal. I quite like doing this because it looks like these lines are coming actually from the heart. Now, I'm not making sure they're the same distance apart, I'm not, I'm just drawing them on quite randomly where I would like them. So I'm using my own artistic license to, to do this. Okay, when you've done that, um, you could add in some more lines. This time, mine are diagonal again, and I'm just creating blocks of ready to paint, really. Blocks of, of different things ready to paint. You don't have to do everything. You can put them wherever you like. It is your choice. Okay, think about what you want your artwork to look like at the end. And that will really give you an idea of um, what you, where you want them to be. Look at Mondrian's work, see where he put his lines. That will give you more of an idea of how to create some great patterns. Now, when you've done that, you need to take your black and your... I'm using a paintbrush that looks like this. And I'm going to use that to paint... all the lines, paint over them. Today I'm just going to do half of this so that you can, you don't have to sit through and watch me painting because that would be pretty boring wouldn't it? You get, you'll get the idea as soon as I've done it or as I'm doing it. I'm using the, the end of my paintbrush and I'm just putting a bit of paint on the end I'm trying to get my lines as straight as I can, but do you know, just do your best. If this is about enjoying it, this is about creating, this is about experimenting with colour and creating something that you really like, that you really want to keep and um, maybe hang on your wall. Because I'm doing it so fast, I'm not really putting doing the best work. So take your time, do not rush like me. Okay, that's as far as I'm going to go with my painting of the black lines. You can go much further, you'll be doing the whole thing, remember. And I'll just paint in my heart. Very quick to paint my heart in for you. Now, if I was going to go and use my um, paint in my, my block, my colours in straight away, the pe black paint would smudge. So I'm just going to use my hairdryer quickly. Excuse the noise. <laughs> take your take that same paintbrush it's quite a good one to use that flat one give it a really good wash out and dry it with your um I'm just doing that now dry it with some tissue paper get all the colors out the other colors out and you can start blocking your picture so I'm just going to decide where I don't know where I want these colors I'm just going to choose now money does not paint every single 
square, every single shape, he chooses which ones he wants. Now I'm this is I love this paintbrush for this artwork because you can go right up close to the black lines and create gorgeous straight lines. And you can even paint over that black with this blue in any case and get a good edge to your work. So you can do that. Okay, so I might just paint three bits blue. I'm going to use the same brush again to paint some red. Now, I think I might paint my heart yellow, so I might not do any of my heart, um, any yellow outside of, of this. Hmm, I'm going to do this one. I'm trying not to leave any gaps in the block I'm actually painting. I'm going to do that very carefully there. Just and then my yellow is going to be blocked off in the middle here. So you get the idea. You do this with a whole of yours, please. Oh, I've got black on my. I got black. Yeah, didn't dry my paint properly. Never mind. Get the idea. You're going to block all this all the way around, and that is how you paint. In a Monet-inspired way. Remember, he would not have curved lines. He would not have diagonal lines. He kept his lines straight. Why not listen to a piece of music while you're doing it? Because remember, that's how Moni's work, how it was, well, that's how he was so inspired, was by listening to jazz music. So hope you got on all right. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I will see you soon.